Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Daisy. So in this video, I will going to teach you guys how could we count number in Mandarin, like one, two, three, four, five. But we will up to nine, nine, nine. And also, I will introduce some cultural stories and the hand gesture behind some really special members. For example, number two, good number. Number six, eight. Hmm, really lucky number. Number four, it's horrible number. Why? Why number four is a horrible number? Let us check it out. We will start with the cultural meaning and gestures behind each number. I mean, number one to number ten, and then we will count the number together up to nine, nine, nine. All right. So this is the number one. So follow me, read it. E, e, e. You see, there a first tone, right? First tone flight. E. So if you have no idea for how do we read Chinese and what are those things it is, what the tone it is, please go for the link here. The link on the top of the screen. This link will tell you how could you read the Mandarin tone and pronunciation. And for the gesture, easy, simple. Just show them one finger. All right, so number two, number two, follow me, read it. R, 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 and you show them two fingers as a gesture. But number two is a really lucky number. Why? Because in China we always believe the good things come together. So together that means two, right? That's the reason why I show you something you see here. Here are some paper cutting in China. Those kind of paper cutting people will put it on the window or door in the new year. This one we will put it in the window or door when the people getting married. So you can see always two things, right? You see two sheep or two birds, right? Always two means lucky. And next one, number three, we call it sun, sun, sun. Also sun is a natural number, no good or bad. So give you, and also you show them three fingers. And this one, si, si, si means number four, si. And also gesture is a simple, four fingers. But S is a terrible number. People all try to avoid it because that's not lucky. Why you see here? This one number four we call the S, right? Pronunciation I S I, and this one S means death. You see death, but their pronunciation, the tone is different. One is S, one is S, but in general I S I I S I sounds similar. So in Mandarin, people will understand like okay, number four equivalent is death. That's the reason why. People try to avoid it, like in Shanghai, in lots of commercial building. When you go to the elevator, you will see the bottom of first floor, second floor, third floor, and then no fourth floor, just no fourth floor. You will see fifth floor straight away, straight away. So you will see number one, two, three, and five, no four. All right. So next one, follow me. Read it. Wu, wu, wu means number five. You just show them five fingers. Is a natural number, no good or bad. Next one, number six, we call it liu, liu, liu. So the gesture a little bit changed. So we will use this sum to represent five, and then with this finger represent one. So five plus one, that is six. But number six is a super super lucky number in in China. Why? You see here. Because Leo, we call it Leo, right? Number six, and this one Leo means flow, flow, water flow. They also call it Leo. You see, same L I U. The pronunciation same, just different tone. This one Leo, this one is Leo. So in China, we will understand number six equal ways flow. But why flow is lucky number? Because flow is always talk about the water flow. Water flow, so that means everything will go in smooth. Everything will go into the way that you want. So that's the reason why Liu is a super lucky number. This one, follow me, read it. Qi, qi, qi means number seven. And also, by the way, this one in English you call the Q Q Q Queen, right? Q. In Mandarin, this one we call the Qi 
qi, you can understand like uh, cheese, C H E, cheese. Oh, you can understand like Chicago, C H I. Okay, this one we call the qi, qi. And so you see this sound present a five, and those two fingers present the two. So five plus two, seven, right? All right, so seven, natural number, no good or bad. Okay, this one, number eight, follow me, read it. Ba, ba, ba. And also the gesture of number eight is like a gun, right? It's like a gun, boom, boom, it's like a gun. And the number eight is also a super, super lucky number. Why? Because ba in Mandarin means money, means money. Ba means money, all right? So next one, jiu, jiu, jiu. You can see this gesture is slightly different because what we do, we just try to use our finger to make it as the Arabic number nine. So we just try our best to make it as, as Arabic number. Also jiu is a, a neutral, is a natural number, no good or bad. Next one, shi, shi. 十 means 10, okay, 十, 十, just rolling your tongue back, 十, and also you see the gesture will be exactly the same with the character, right? 5 plus 5, all right. So now let us go to count the number together. Actually, count the number in Mandarin is super easy and simple. So you even do not need to learn it specifically. You just follow my instruction, okay? Now let us count it together. So now follow me. I will highlight it and then we read it together. So number one, e, r, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, 九十十 is 10, right? So now I have a question for you guys. So how about 11? How could we read 11? So 11, you see what I'm going to do with 11. I will put 10 and the 1 together. 10 first and then 1 means 11. So I will, I will say it, speak it as 十. E, shi, e is 11, right? Shi, e, 10 and 1 together. So how about 12? I'll give you one second to think about it. 12. We will call it shi, er, right? Shi, er. And the 14, we will call it shi, si, right? 15, shi, Wu, right? 10 first and then 5. So 18, 十八, right? So for 20, what I'm going to do with 20, 20, you see here what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put the 2 and the 10 together to mean 20 because that's literally 2 and the 10, right? 2 times of 10. So you will say 2 first and then you say 10. You will say 二. 十, right? 二十. So for 30, what are we going to do with 30? We will say 三十, right? 3 and 10. So uh, for 60, we will say 六十, right? 70, we will say 七, 七 and 十. So we will say 七十, 七十. All right, so now we're back to here. We're back here. So 20, I, I just put the 2 and the 10 together made the 20, right? But when I read 11, I was put the 10 and the 1 together. So now 20 is 20. So how about 21? 20 plus 1, how could we say it? I give you one second to think about it. 20 plus 1, 21. Yeah, we call it 21. 20 is 20 plus 1, 21. All right, so now let us practice more. So 35, how could we call 35? 
35. So we will get 30 first, right? 30 is 30 is 3 and 10. 35 is 5. So put together will be 35 is 35. How about 47? Take your time. We will say it as 47, right? 47. All right, 52. 50 plus 2. 50 is 50. 2 is 2, right? So we will say 52. Next one, 79. Take your time. So we will say 79. 79. Next one, 81. 80, we will call it 8 and 10, right? 80 plus 1, 81. So 90, we will call it 90, right? 9 and 10. For 5 plus 5 there, 95 is 95. Next one, 100. How could you say 100? 100, we call it by. By, you see here, by means 100. So how could we say 300? 300. We will call it some by, right? I believe everyone can get it. Some by, some by. How could we say 900? We call it 900, right? 9 plus by, 900. So now the final one. 999. I will leave this one as your homework, okay? If you got it, how could we read it? So please leave the answer of how could we read 999 as the comment there. So you do not need to write down the Chinese character 999. You just tell me how could we say it like um, by the pronunciation. For example, 17, 79, we call it 79. So you can give me a comment like this one, Q-I-S-H-I-G-I-U as the answer, as a command. So take your time and give it to me as a command. All right. So now if you feel a little bit confused, now I give you the pattern. You see, this is a number pattern. You can take a screenshot of this page in the future. Once you confuse with it, just go over here. You see number one uh, until number nine, nine, ten. Um, Number 10 is here, right? For number 12, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put a 10 and the two together, right? Because that is the 10 plus two. So 20, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put a two here, two and a 10 together, right? 10 together. So 20 is 20. You can see they give you the answer and all the pattern and the 25, same, same 20. 20, you plus 5, 25 is 25. So in the future, any question just back to this pattern that will help you. Please take the screenshot of this one. All right, so now I believe you know how Mandarin number works. So if you have any questions for the number in the future, just check that pattern. And also do not forget to leave a comment to tell me how do we read number 999 into Mandarin, all right? So if you have some specific topic you want to know about Mandarin, please leave a comment. We will record it as a video for you. And if you find out this video is really helpful, please give me a like or subscribe to my... All right, see you guys every Friday at 6 p.m. See you guys. 再见, bye!